God wants you to know that he will set a new record for you this year. He is providing you with a brand new beginning. His love is new every morning. His mercies endure forever. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, Lamentations 3, verse 22 to 3, 3. He is set to do a new thing in this new year for your life. You are never alone. You have a God who is with you, and he will set a new record for you this year. Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19 says, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Yes, God is set to do a new thing in your life, setting you up in a new place. Our past failures, brokenness, and pain no longer define us. Our sin and past mistakes no longer condemn us. We are a completely new creation and have a new spirit in us. Hebrews 8 verse 12 says, For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. Your past no longer determines your future. God does not want us to dwell on all that has happened last year, but see what he is doing. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness. He is making a way in that situation and making a new story for you. What to do for God? to set a new record for you this year. For God to set a new record for you this year. Firstly, you need to live a spirit-filled life. Living with the directives of the scriptures, you need to be spiritually minded. Spirituality is a crave for godly living. You have to be determined to live a life that pleases God all through the year, no matter the circumstances. Diligently follow every instruction and commandment of God in your everyday life. Philippians 3 verse 13 to 15 brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I know, a getting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us then, who are mature should take such a view of things. And if at some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Consciously living in obedience to God, in obedience to every commandment he has given, living a life that will please him. 1 Timothy 4 verse 7 to 9 have nothing to do with godless myths and old wives' tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly, for physical training is of some value. But godliness has value for all things holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. This is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance for God to set a new record for you. This year, you have to live a spiritual life, meditate on the scriptures, renew your mind and align yourself with God's will. The word of God is refreshing and to be in the spirit is to live in the word. God can only be with us if we are with him. Living a spiritual life is having a relationship with God. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 16, another way for God to set a new record for you. This year is for you to let go of the past and move into your new beginning. God's plans for your life this year are for good and not for evil. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, focus on the new beginning, the new things God is set to do for you. Forget about the former things. Do not dwell on what has happened. They are things of the past. Instead, see and look forward to what God will do for you this year. He will open a new page for you. Your life is starting afresh, a new creation in Christ. Jesus said in Joel 2 verse 25 that I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, the great locust and the young locust, the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army that I sent among you, all the years of waste. God in his mercy promises to restore you. The years the enemy has stolen, he is going to restore and set a new record for you. Every moment spent in sin, guilt, fear, and doubt are part of those wasted years and God will restore them to you double. You are in a new season and God is set to open a new record for you. Furthermore, trust and believe. If only you can trust and believe in him, he will set a new record for you. 
Trusting God is to believe in His reliability, ability, and strength to do something. God has promised to do a new thing for us. We are to believe in His Word. It is impossible to please God without having faith in Him. And to have faith in God is to completely trust and be confident in what He has promised. He is always working things out for our good. Romans 8 verse 28 Believe in the end of the past circumstances and trust God for the new season and the restoration of everything that has been lost. Every day brings a fresh beginning with God and He can make all things new. He is set to open a new record for you. He is a God who keeps His promises. Another way for God to set a new record for you this year is to know that God is the provider of all things. Philippians 4 verse 19 says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Know that God can meet all your needs in this new year. If you want to see new things and what God has set for you in this year, know that God can give you all things and will supply all your needs according to His riches in glory. Lastly, guard your heart and God will set a new record for you this year. Proverbs 4 verse 23 says above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Guarding your heart means being mindful of what you allow into your mind and heart for God to set a new record for you this year. You need to guard your heart and mind from every negativity. Only God can set a new record and change your story this year. Surrender your all to Him and live a life that, that is the most important way God will set a new record for you this year. He will make all things new no matter how the situation is. Isaiah 65 verse 16 says, See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. God will set a new record for you this year, and you will not remember the former one. There are things that can hinder God from changing your story and giving you a new record. Some things can stand as a barrier for us. Now, what are the things that will hinder God from setting you on a new record this year? Sin. Sin can hinder everything good in our lives, especially a man's experience of God's presence. God cannot dwell in a place where sin is present because God is righteous and holy. To see the new thing God has set to do for us, we are to live a life of sanctification, a spirit-filled life, living with the Word, obeying His commandments. Sin is a barrier to God's theory, presence and blessings upon us. Fear and doubt. God will not set a new record for you this year if you continue living in fear. Fear of what might happen, fear of the future. The scriptures say do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your request to God. Philippians 4 verse 6, we should trust in God's promises. He can never lie. James describes the man who doubts as a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. James 1 verse 6, ways God will set a new record for you this year. God's new record for you this year can come in many forms. He can do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Ephesians 3 verse 20, God can set a new record for you in different ways. 1. By restoration. God will set a new record for you by restoring all to you. Our God is a God of restoration. And not only can he renew a life and redeem its future, he can also redeem its past. God can restore your relationship with him, restore your relationship with families and loved ones. Restore your wasted years, your finances, your jobs, careers, and businesses. He restored Joseph with his brothers, restored the children of Israel, and gave them all the years that were wasted as if nothing ever happened. For their shame, he gave them a double portion of blessings. He restored Job and gave him twice as much as he had before. To by changing your story, he will make all things new. He will change that situation and circumstance and give you a brand new story and experience. He will start from renewing our body, spirit, and soul to a new creation. He changes everything of the past and gives us a new self. He takes away the old record and sets a new record. So, he will change that situation, that name people have given you, and he will set a new record for you. 3. 
God will set a new record for you this year by resurrection. He will bring back to life everything that is dead in and around you. He will resurrect your joy, your peace, your happiness, your harmony, and your unity. He will bring back to life your brokenness. This is one way God will set a new record for you by bringing everything that seems dead in your life alive. God is set to open a new record for you this year, and he is ready to receive and guide you throughout the year. He wants you to have a new beginning, away from the past, a life free of shame, sin, pain, troubles, and situations of the name she wore cold. He is set to change your name and give you a new, new name. He is ready to start afresh with you. He wants to start all over and set a clean and new record for you to see that new record God is setting. We must continue to stay in love with the Lord this year, and you will have a new record being opened for your sake. Staying in love with God means following Jesus as our perfect example and living in obedience to the scriptures. 1 John 5 verse 13 says, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. When you love God, you keep his commandments. We must strive to continually be in love with God to see what God has set to do for us this year. Brothers and sisters, let us pray our dear Heavenly Father. We praise your name. You alone are worthy to be glorified forever. Oh, thank you, Lord, for you are good. Your mercy endures forever. Your love is everlasting. Thank you for not consuming us. We bless you, Lord, because you are ever faithful and just. Thank you for your kindness, your faithfulness, and your constant presence in our lives. You are glorious. You are a wonderful Father. Dear Lord, let your word dwell within us richly. Help us to know you better, to love you better. Help us grow deeper and deeper in you. Help us root deeper in your word of truth. Give us the grace to always keep your commandments and live in obedience to you, Lord. Help us to live a life that will please you. We ask for grace to remain in love with you every day of this year and beyond. Help us to remain in fellowship with you. Draw us closer to your will, always. Dear God, we come humbly before you, asking that in this year you may open new records for us. You may open new doors for us, new doors of opportunities, doors of blessings and prosperity. May your favor surround us like a shield. May our story change from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. May we have new experiences of your goodness. Give us a new name in this season. May we experience tremendous transformation in our lives that will bring honor and glory to you, Lord. Father, we pray that you renew our minds and hearts by the power of your word. Renew our spirit, soul, and body. Guide our hearts to the things you have set for it. Help us to focus on the new things and forget the pain, guilt, shame, and troubles of the past. May we be transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit, leaving behind the old and embracing the new things you have in store for us. May our lives be set on new records spiritually, physically, financially, career-wise. May our relationships be set on a new record. Lord, restore to us the years we have wasted. Give us twice as much as we have, O oh Lord. Give us double portions for all our troubles and shames. Lord, in this year we pray for guidance and direction. When we feel lost and overwhelmed, help us to find a way. Father, we ask that you open our hearts and eyes to the direction you want us to go. Help us to make the right and best decisions that will lead us closer to you. Forgive us for making plans and decisions ahead of you. Give us the spirit of discernment as we decide to know what you want us to do. Lord, we pray for the strength to wait on you even when times are hard. We pray for the courage to persevere in the most difficult situations. Lord, we rely on your understanding to lead us to the path you want us to be on this year. Align our hearts to yours, align our ideas to your will and purpose for our lives. Lord, this year our hope and faith are anchored on you. We depend on you, Lord. We put our trust in you, Lord. Please do not let us be put to shame. Psalms 25 verse 1 to 2 says to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. In this season, we choose to walk by faith and not by fear, by faith and not by sight. Because you are on our side, we are secure. 
Dear Father, open our eyes to see what you are working for us. Open our ears to hear you speak. Dear God, help us to do all things by the power of your word. Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Help us to do everything perfectly by your strength. Help us to carry out every activity in our jobs and careers well. Help us to be blessings to everyone we come across. Father, we ask for your protection upon us. We place our lives before you. You are a hiding place, and under your wings we find refuge. Guard our lives from the hands of the wicked ones. Lord, just as you promised in your word, you will give your angels charge over us to bear us up and no evil shall come close to our dwelling. Father, heal and mend every broken heart for everyone whose heart is burdened with situations of life. We ask, Lord, that you give them your peace, the peace that only you can give, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Give them peace in the storm, calmness in every situation and joy in chaos that we will be a source of joy to others daily. The Holy Spirit fills us with joy. Restore to us the joy of your salvation and grant us a willing spirit to sustain us. Dear Lord, continue to hold our hands and help us all the way. We cannot do it without you, Lord. We pray for those challenged with situations that look beyond them. Father, it may be beyond them, but we know nothing is impossible for you to make every impossibility in their lives possible. Change that situation and give them rest all around. We rest in the assurance of your word, knowing you can do everything, even more than we can imagine. Thank you for hearing our prayers in advance. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen.